click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, this is a problem based on portfolio mix or investment mix. Now how will I decide my investment? Now two of the primary objectives of investment can be to maximize the returns or the profits or the returns or it can be to minimize the risk. Uh, we have to read the problem carefully. We have to look at the objective function. Objective function of the investor can be to maximize the risk. It can be to minimize the risk or it can be to maximize the returns or the profits. Let's read the problem first and then proceed further. Mr. A.P. Ravi wants to invest 1 lakh in two companies A and B so as not to exceed 75,000 in either of the company. So we have got two companies A and B where we have to invest. If you have to do total investment, you have to have 1 lakh rupees. And individually, you can invest in any company with 75,000 in any company. Company A assures average return of 10% whereas return of company B is 20%. So A may returns thoda kam hai, B may returns thoda jada hai. Risk wise, company A ka risk hai 4 on the scale of 0 to 10 whereas risk factor rating for B is 9 on similar scale. So company B ka returns jada hai, that means uska risk bhi jada hai. Company A ka returns kam hai. That means its risk B kam hai. As Mr. Ravi wants to maximize his returns, he wants to maximize his returns. As I told you earlier, investor will like to maximize the returns or you like to minimize the risks. But then at the same time, he wants to maximize the returns and he is not willing to accept an average rate of return below 10% and a risk factor above 6 so risk bhi 6 se jyada nahi hona chahiye aur returns 12% se kam nahi hona chahiye formulate this as a linear programming problem of course you are not going to solve it graphically because that is beyond our syllabus now under the CMA inter new syllabus 2016 so let's first tabulate this into a table and then we can proceed further to formulate the problem so let's put down the uh, investment options of company A and company B in the columns. So here is my company A, a stock A or share A, and here is my company B, here is my returns, and here is my risk, risk factor or the risk. The risk factor rating of company A is 4. Whereas risk factor rating for B is 9. So risk factor for A is 4 and for B it is 9 out of 10. Returns. Company A assures average return of 10% whereas average return of company B is 20%. A car returns 10%. B car returns 20% and then we have one line at the start so as not to exceed 75,000 in either of the company so investment limit in company A 75,000 rupees in company B 75,000 and overall the limit is rupees 1 lakhs. So this is the basic information given in the problem. Our first thing will be to make an assumption that we are investing x1 rupees in company A and x2 rupees in company B and then we can proceed further. The objective is to maximize the returns of the investor. So then let's note down the assumptions first. Let x1 rupees 
बी इन्वेस्टेड इन कंपनी ए एंड एक्स टू रुपीज बी इन्वेस्टेड इन कंपनी बी so we have invested x1 rupees in a and x2 rupees in b and we need to make an assumption now so here my x1 is company a maximum investment can't be more than 75000 first we we'll note down the objective function my objective function will be return of 10% so 0.10 and i will write 20% as 0.20 you can write 0.1 also not a issue so 0.10 into x1 plus 0.20 into x2 will be my returns so maximize z equals to 0.1 x1 plus 0.2 x2 subject to what are my constraints now my first constraint is that my total investment overall can't be more than 1 lakhs so my total investment in a and b will be combined x1 plus x2 it can't be more than 1 lakh so x1 plus x2 that is my capital budgeting constraint should be less than equals to 1 lakh second my Investment limit in either of the companies seventy five thousand. So X one less than equal to seventy five thousand, and X two less than equal to seventy five thousand. It can't be more than seventy five thousand for these reasons. Then we had a constraint regarding he will not accept average rate of return below twelve percent. So return should. Not be below twelve percent or less than twelve percent. That is zero point twelve. And risk not more than six. So this can be again put forward into constraints. In case of returns, it will be zero point one x one plus zero point two x two. More than equal to zero point twelve, zero point one x one plus zero point two x two, more than or equal to zero point twelve. But then zero point twelve percent of what? Zero point twelve percent of the total amount invested, which I will like to note down as x one plus x two. So right now I'm not sure whether I'm going to invest the whole one lakh rupees because students may tend to take zero point twelve percent of a zero point twelve or twelve percent of one lakh, but it, it I, I feel it will be wrong because we don't know how much amount we are going to invest. Right now I have just made an assumption that I'm going to invest X one rupees in company A and X two rupees in company B, and nowhere in the problem they have specified that you have to invest the whole of the amount. There is no such condition कि मुझे पूरा का पूरा एक लाख रुपया इन्वेस्ट कर मेरे पास एक लाख रुपया है बट मैं पूरा का पूरा एक लाख रुपया इन्वेस्ट कर रहा हूं ऐसा भी नहीं है प्रॉब्लम ऐसा कहीं पर बोला भी नहीं है मुझे इसलिए जब मैं मैक्सिमम मिनिमम रिटर्न वाला जो पॉइंट है जब मैं कर रहा हूं उस टाइम उस टाइम पे इट विल बी माई टोटल रिटर्न शुड नॉट बी लेस देन ट्वेल्व परसेंट सो इट शुड बी मोर देन और इक्वल टू ट्वेल्व ट्वेल्व परसेंट ऑफ वॉट 12% of the amount invested and how much amount i'm investing here i'm investing x1 plus x2 so i'll note down 0.12 multiplied by not 1 lakh plus x1 plus x2 i can simplify this into 0.x1 plus 0.2x2 more than equals to 0.12x1 plus 0.12x2 Which can be again written as point one x one minus point twelve x one 
प्लस पॉइंट टू एक्स टू माइनस पॉइंट ट्वेल्व एक्स टू मोर देन इक्वल्स टू जीरो विच कैन बी मोर सिंप्लीफाइड एज माइनस जीरो पॉइंट जीरो टू एक्स वन प्लस जीरो पॉइंट जीरो एट एक्स टू मोर देन इक्वल्स टू जीरो सो आई गॉट ए कंस्टेंट हियर दैट इज माई इन्वेस्टमेंट रिटर्न्स वाला कंस्टेंट that my total return should not be less than 12% it should be at least 12% of the amount invested so i will put down at least will be converted into more than or equal to 12% of what 12% is 0.12 into amount invested is x1 plus x2 so i noted down this thing then there was one more constant that the risk that the risk should not be more than 6 Four into x one plus nine into x two less than equal to six. My last constraint. I'll note on the next page. My risk constraint. Four into x one plus nine into x two less than or equal to six. This is my risk constraint. And then at last there will be my non. negativity constraint where it is x1 more than equals to 0 x2 more than equals to 0 so this was a very typical problem based on investment the problem contained percentages you can convert them into point fractions or you can just put down them as it is with this the problem is done thanks thanks for watching this video do subscribe to our channel ikira